Well, hello everyone and welcome to Decorating with Barbara. Today I'm sharing a small bath refresh on a budget. Now, I'll be switching out some of the hardware and then bringing in some fresh accessories. But before we get started, I want to hop over to Home Goods to see if I can find something to refresh the space. Now, they had plenty of home decor, but that's not what we're here for. We're going to focus on the bath and then I'll share what I bought at the end. Now this area is not very popular to choose bath um, accessories for particular aesthetics, but sometimes I think we should just stop in here and see what we can find. There's always some little treasures that you might incorporate into your aesthetic to give it your personal style. Now, if you're looking for bath towels, they had plenty, but I didn't need any for this particular project, but I did see some that I liked and for $7.99, I thought they were a good price and I love the color palette. Who knows, maybe for the fall. Okay guys, so here are a few of the items that I picked up from Home Goods. Now I'm gonna go a little quick because I don't want this video to be too long. And so I'm just gonna go over very briefly some of the items that I picked up. Now you guys know that I spray painted this tray and I um, had gotten this from Home Goods and it was on clearance for $7. Okay, so I went into the candle aisle and I'm always looking for candles and I love to get candles with pretty containers. And so I found these two. And so both of these, I think are in that citrus kind of a fragrance. So I'm not going to use both of them in this space. I'll decide which one that I'll use. And then I'm thinking I'm going to use this soap dispenser. I like the gold top and I like the taupey uh, glass. And so it just seems to match real nicely with this um, painting back here. And then I got a, um, like a little candle holder in gold. And then this, I know you guys are probably saying that's for the kitchen, but I have an idea that I wanna use for this in the bathroom and I may or may not use it in this particular um, makeover but I definitely wanted to pick it up because this is going to work for some of my um, disposable towels and so this was $6.99 it is a napkin holder for the kitchen but you know you can use things however you like and I like the taupe color the ivory and then the, the little touch of gold and of course, this absolutely has nothing to do with the bathroom. I just saw it and I was looking for the um, dried oranges last year and I couldn't find them. And so I just bought them because I saw them and I'll be ready for the fall when I get ready to use them. So if you see them, if you're looking for them and you see them, go ahead and get them now. They were $7.99 because they're not gonna be there when you look for them in October. Okay, so the last thing that I got was the three art pieces back here. It's a trio set and it may or may not go in the powder room, but I'm going to definitely see if I can get it to work because I like the colors. I don't know if you can see that it has the gold in it. It has taupe, a little bit of charcoal and the ivory. So. I know these are the colors that I'll be using in my home. And so I definitely wanted to pick that set up regardless to whether it goes in the powder room or not. And so yeah, that's it guys. 
All right, guys, so I have some of the hardware from the bathroom that I'm going to give a quick makeover on. I have a small little vanity tray that I just picked up from Home Goods, and it was $7. And so for $7 on clearance, I figured it was the perfect tray, perfect size, and I could just spray paint it as well. The oil, oil rubbed bronze color was looking a little drab to me, so I thought I would freshen it up with a little uh, gold spray paint. And so I will be using this metallic gold from Krylon. And then I have a Minwax clear satin uh, protective finish that I'll be using on the handles. Anything that you're probably going to handle, I'll put the uh, protective finish on it and that will include the tray and maybe this. Um, I'm also going to be making over the light fixture, but I don't have it down at the moment. I'll just share that with you once I spray paint it. And so um, these are just some budget friendly ways that you can quickly refresh your powder room and get a different look. I also have this little wall art piece here that I want to freshen up just a bit. It has um, kind of like a copper color. I'm not real sure, copper, rose gold, but it's just not the color that I want. So I'm gonna take this little coppery brownish color and highlight that in gold and hopefully it will give me the look that I would like. All right guys, so this is the wall plaque and I think it turned out great. So all of the hardware has been put back in place. The light fixture has been painted. I did put a little trim, a little gold trim on the mirror and then the hardware on the cabinet is back in place. And so now we can just bring in the stuff. All right guys, so you can use the paper towel. I like to use the paper towel if it's just my family here. And with this particular paper towel holder, I did go ahead and spray paint it gold so that it would fit in and look nice sitting on the counter. But you can also use the napkin ring like I was mentioning before, and then just fold a paper towel, you know, a half sheet fold it in half and place it in the napkin ring holder for your guest. Or you can use the nice decorative um, hand towels if you choose to use those for your guests. But sometimes I just use these and with the pretty container, I think that looks really nice. 